The Unbeatable Wrestler Winning a game isn't easy. What about losing a game that you could easily win? Why would anyone lose on purpose? A wrestler named Junaid was a famous winner of his city. He got so good that the king hired him to fight for him. Junaid knew amazing tricks to beat the challengers. He always won every match. People would challenge him for lots of money. He would wrestle in front of the king and the people. One day, an old and thin man asked the king permission to challenge Junaid. You're no match for Junaid. Look at you. Wind could blow you away, let alone wrestling. Just wait and watch. I have some special tricks with which I can easily defeat the royal wrestler. The match was set. Junaid and the old man began to warm up. The huge crowd was excited to watch this odd wrestling match. Why did the thin man even bother? The two looked each other in the eye and circled in the ring. Junaid swiped his arms toward the thin man, but he ducked and jumped away. Junaid swiped his other arm, but the thin man dodged again and jumped onto Junaid this time. The thin man hung around Junaid's neck. Before Junaid could slam him down and knock him out, the thin man whispered in his ear, Of course, I can never beat you, but I am a Sayyid, a descendant of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My family has been hit by poverty. We can't go hungry anymore. If you let me win this match, the reward will be a huge help to my family. Junaid was surprised. Instead of responding back to the weak man, Junaid started walking dizzily. He pretended to be weak and fell to the ground. The old man quickly jumped onto his chest. And the winner of today's match is the old man. I can't believe it. How could Junaid lose such an easy match? Was Junaid careless? Or does this old man really have special tricks? People cheered at the old man and took him to the king, where he was given many prizes and gifts. Junaid dried his sweat with his towel and walked silently away from the rink. Losing such an easy match caused them humiliation in front of the crowd and the king. He had a reputation of a winning wrestler. But that was all right to him. He really wanted to help the poor old man. That night, Junaid saw Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in his dream. The Prophet وسلم, said to Junaid that since he had sacrificed his honor, his national fame, his name and position throughout Baghdad for the love of Prophet's descendants who were starving. From that day on, his name would be recorded in the register of the awliya, the friends of Allah. Junaid of Baghdad went on to become a renowned scholar of Islam. He was not famous as a wrestler. He became famous for being the friend of Allah. For more stories like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website www.lukme.com.